हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू इनगोर न्यूज अ पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट लिटिगेशन हैज बीन फाइल इन हाई कोर्ट चैलेंजिंग द न्यू एडेड सेक्शन 17 टू ऑफ द टाउन एंड कंट्री प्लानिंग टी सी पी एक्ट द पिटिशनर आर्ग्यूज दैट द सेक्शन लैक्स क्लियर डेफिनेशन फॉर क्रिटिकल टर्म्स सच एज एरोनियस इन एडवर्टेंट इनकन्सिस्टेंट एंड इनकोरियंट विच अंडरमाइंस इट्स लीगल इफेक्टिवनेस द प्ली रिक्वेस्ट द कोर्ट टू सेट असाइड दिस अमेंडमेंट एंड एनुअल द मॉडिफिकेशन मेड टू द रीजनल प्लान एम्फोसाइजिंग द नीड फॉर द प्रिसाइज लैंग्वेज टू एंश्योर ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड अकाउंटेबिलिटी इन द प्लानिंग प्रोसेस नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेयर दैट द टाउन एंड कंट्री प्लानिंग एक्ट एंड अमेंडमेंट वॉज डन सेवेंटीन टू वेर द गवर्नमेंट सेट दैट यू कुड अप्लाई फॉर चेंजेस based on the errors in the regional plan now this this particular amendment goa bacha abhiyan has challenged in the high court along with uh, goa foundation the reason being there are no checks and balances uh, there to really check whether there was if there were any errors the amendment is so opaque and that is why several illegalities have been uh, are being committed and have been committed now who is committing the illegalities it is the chief town planner who is committing this illegalities he knows the law okay he knows what is there in the regional plan yet they are entertaining applications and converting land which is supposed to be no development zone like agriculture land hills uh, sand dunes low lying areas they are converting it into settlement and charging money for it okay knowing very well that this is against the law and the worst part is that the member secretary who is the who is also the chief secretary being an insider has also converted land by committing illegalities now there was a piece of land which was agricultural land on the regional plan but they have shown it as orchard they applied for conversion of orchard land to settlement and this was granted now whose duty was it to check the regional plan it was a responsibility of the chief town planner who is signing uh, the final document okay now because it is of the chief secretary this document has been signed and uh, this way so many lands in goa have been converted so today we are demanding that a uh, that an inquiry be con uh, conducted into all these illegalities especially of the uh, this uh, the conversion done by the chief secretary and the reasons are very clear now uh, this particular conversion was approved by the board including the tcp minister and chief secretary on 14th march and published in the gazette through actions of the chief town planner rajesh nai we have annexed it illegal construction had already taken place on the same plot which the town and county planning were fully aware of prior to the notification then instead of directing again action against such illegal construction the chief town planner rajesh nai in abuse of power of position processed it under the flawed amendment section 172 using this as tool for regularization the ctp has powers to use his position to veto any irregular recommendations of the board so when on the ground you could see there were these irregularities the chief town planner should not have signed the conversion we have great respect for the post of chief secretary he is like a father in the whole administrative setup and it's very sad that a person like this who's holding such a post does such irregularities being in the committee which is very shocking we don't expect this from that post 
And it's it's really sad that the people have to protest against the wrong wings of the chief secretary. It's like protesting against your own father. A father who's supposed to see that the children do something that is right. He does something wrong. I think we would make a strong request to the chief secretary, set an example, get this decision reverted, get this zone changed from settlement back and to paddy field, to agriculture. That would be really setting an example in Goa and people will hold you in high esteem in, instead of treating you like somebody who's done something absolutely wrong. And it, it could be that uh, a lot of money will be lost in this, but money is not everything. I think you have to hold up the position of Chief Secretary and revert back to that status. This will send an example to others who have done the same thing. Let it start from the father. We consider the father the head of the administrative setup. And if he does this, it will be great and people will remember him rather than have the other opinion of him. The fact is that there was an illegal bungalow there, there was an illegal construction. That illegality, instead of being acted upon, was converted under 17.2. So the first thing is that 17.2, which is supposed to be looking at errors in the regional plan, is now being blatantly used as a conversion, as in a mm -hmm. legalizing and regularizing tool, which is actually not what it's supposed to be used for. That is one. And the second part is, the chief secretary actually being on the board, which is, you know, uh, obviously against you know, the conflict of, uh, yeah, conflict of interest. And we have this here where you can see all their signatures. So he signed that this property becomes um, officially settlement. And after that, he goes and buys it. So this is pure insider trading, if you ask me. And Unless people understand and get outraged with something like this, I don't know where we're headed at. But the chief minister needs to react. He cannot, he cannot, he, he cannot, um, uh, yeah, he, he can't be, uh, he can't, exactly, he can't be ignoring these kind of things. Is custodian of the law in Goa and holds dual st status as secretary of the town and country planning department. He has taken undue benefit of his insider status as signatory on the board of approval to convert a property that he proceeded to purchase after Chief Town Planner Rajesh Nai obligingly regularized under Section 17.2 through Gazette notification. So, if the Chief Secretary's land conversion takes place, the illegal land conversion takes place so you can imagine the status of land converted by so many other people so we demand that the chief minister act ethically against such abuse of power now we demand immediate suspension of the two officers and a cbi investigation into their blatant corrupt actions. Now, the Vigilance Department comes under the government, so I don't know, we are not sure whether we are going to get, get a fair inquiry. And that is the reason we are asking for CBI uh, inquiry. Secondly, if the two officers are, in, uh, or are on duty, then they are going to tamper with all the evidence which is at their disposal. So therefore, they have to be suspended. Investigations into self-serving beneficiaries of other conversions under the flawed amendment 17.2 of the TCP Act. Not only this particular conversion, uh, sorry, conversion, but all other conversions that have taken place. Suspension of the operation of amendment 17.2 till such an investigation has reached its conclusion. Now, we had asked the Chief Minister for an appointment to discuss this matter. 17th September, we had given in a letter asking for an appointment so that we can discuss with the Chief Minister what are the problems on the ground. Thereafter, we sent another reminder 
but till date the chief minister has not given us an appointment to discuss so here we want to discuss deliberate and sort out issues but the chief minister is by not discussing is only agitating the people to come on the streets so here we uh, so here we are demanding putting all the demands before the public and through the media we are also making it, uh, putting our demands to the government to immediately suspend the officers and conduct an inquiry